always like drawing a lot as a kid and even as I got older like I still continued doing it and I always really wanted to pursue it as a job. My parents always had that like big picture where they wanted me to be like a doctor or a lawyer or like the dream jobs that every parent wants for their kid. But I think they were really concerned when I did want to pursue it as a job because my parents are immigrants from Vietnam and like in their head, art wasn't something you made money off of. In my final year of college, I was getting prepared to apply to all these studios. I was trying to figure out like where I wanted to go, like what I wanted to work on. And during that time, Overwatch was announced. And when I saw it, I knew that that was the game for me and I wanted to work for that studio. During my last year, I had a small opportunity to send my portfolio resume to someone who worked at Blizzard at, uh, on Overwatch. Uh, I wasn't really sure what was going to come out of it, but then just a few days later, I got an email and a phone call back, and that's how it happened. <laughs> when I first came to Blizzard, I think at that point, I had not even walked for my graduation yet. I came in, I didn't really know what to expect. My manager set up my desk right next to Arnold Tseng, who was like my superstar at uh, Blizzard. Like my brain melted, like I sat down and I was like, cool, I'm working here. <laughs> I think for anyone who wants to work in games, I think the, f the first step is just making art and not thinking that you're not good enough committing to it, pursuing it, and then always jumping on opportunities. The struggle's always gonna be there. I don't think anyone ever gets rid of that. Everyone, especially here at Blizzard, is so talented. All the time I'm thinking, wow, how, how did I get hired here? <laughs> Being in school and seeing like Overwatch be announced and then immediately work on it right before launch was 100% like your number one dream coming true.